Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is so special because we have a friend here, a special guest. This is Deborah Solo Collins, and we know her from college. We met in music school, so she's here to talk to us today about her upcoming album. That's right. I'm so excited. Uh, I want to tell you about my brand new album coming out with my band, the Deborah Solo Trio. I play acoustic guitar mm -hmm. and sing, and I play with a cellist who also sings, and yeah. a person who plays drums and bass at the same time and also sing. So much. we're a trio but it sounds like we're a much fuller band Yeah, and we uh, produced and recorded this all ourselves at Chad Zilla Johnson's studio, 25 BPM studios in Denver where we so rehearse. Cool. And we were able to um, make this album. It's called Not Your Daisy, and it's out on August 13th, and that's 2021. So yeah. if you're watching this and it's already out, you can go check us out on any streaming platform. We have a really exciting show coming up Yay. on August 13th, and it's at Stone Cottage Studios, which is located in Boulder, Colorado. Mm. But the really cool thing about this place <laughs> is that they are videographers, and for almost, I think, every show they do, they will do hybrid tickets where there's some in-person seating for the summer concert. Concert series. Yeah. You can come see us live in person. Yeah. Or from yeah. anywhere in the world, if you have an internet connection, I yeah. assume you do because you're, you're watching this now, video. Exactly. Yeah. Then you can buy a streaming ticket for only $15 wow. and it's high definition. Um, live, high, live yeah. high, like the audio is really fantastic. Multiple yeah. camera views and see what we're doing, see what That's I'm talking so about. So cool! That's yeah. exciting. So, can you tell us a little bit of inspiration? Like, what started the album? Were you guys already writing it before oh, the pandemic? That's a really good question. <laughs> you know, we actually had written a lot of the songs for mm -hmm. it already. Only one that was brand new during the pandemic that okay. we wrote, and I thought we just have to get this one on the album, yeah. and that's the one we're going to do today. On. So great! Yes. Yeah. So today we have Deborah here to collaborate with us. So we're going to get give her a voice lesson and work through one of the songs that she is premiering to the world and we're just really excited to do that today. So I have a few questions for you oh, about wonderful. singing and as a vocalist, you are also a voice teacher. That's right? true. <laughs> so it's great. What do you feel are the two most important things about singing? So like say a new student comes to me Absolutely. and I can only tell them two things before they leave. Yeah. Oh my gosh, have fun is Two. like the thing. Have fun, I, perfect, I say, that's fantastic. Breathe, have fun. Breathe and have fun, Yeah, I love it. So then kind of going along the same lines, how would you teach somebody to sing if you could only explain it in a few sentences? So you can't do anything with them, you have to explain it to them, and they can know, let's say they know nothing about singing. All right, in <laughs> as few sentences as possible. Singing is all about letting the air leave your body like a fancy exhale. So just fancy exhale, and stop getting in the way. Awesome. Okay. That's so along the lines of us. I love it. Okay, another question. Okay. Do you believe that anyone can sing? Oh, definitely. Yes, yeah? yes. Yeah, I think everybody can sing, and it's definitely a skill you can work on. Yeah. Just like learning how to draw. Right. You know, everybody starts with a certain, like, talent point where, yeah. like, you have this natural ability to do something, mm -hmm. but then if you really want to do it and you take classes and you practice it with good supportive teachers yeah you will get better and better and better and there's really sky's the limit yeah it's like becoming an athlete too right. like I'm not a naturally athletic Same. person Same and there's yeah. like a ceiling on how athletic I will ever be <laughs> yes but but you can still learn yeah, to but, run yeah I love yeah. running now I love right. jogging and right like I mean, embarrassingly even doing dance routines absolutely so, like, yeah I I get it done and yes. I, I'm an athletic person but like um, like you can, you can get better at anything. And, That's and awesome. case in point, when I started singing, um, my whole family could sing. Yeah. I felt they were all really talented and great. And I felt like I was like the odd one out. Like I oh, couldn't man. do it. Yeah. And my, uh, I would get made fun of by my brother sometimes because oh. I couldn't pitch match. Yeah. You know, but I took as lessons. A kid. Yeah. yeah. As a child. And wow. I took lessons and I worked at it and worked at it. And it's just, it's just, you learn how to do it. And I didn't even realize that, you know, when you're growing up, even female um, adolescents have a voice mm. change. Yeah. And sometimes you don't know what your voice is going to do. Absolutely. And I thought that was only male adolescents. Right, absolutely. Yeah, so there That's you, wonderful. Yeah, so I learned a lot and now... Yeah. Uh, now I can sing. <laughs> that's wonderful. I love that. I think that's a great thing to talk about with people because we talk a lot about a practice, right? It's about yeah. practice. You know, it's not about the product. It's about the whole process of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So I think that speaks a lot to teaching and learning as a teacher even. We're always totally. students. So our last question for you is yeah. what keeps you going as an artist? Ooh, that's <laughs> a really good question. I would say what keeps me going is that I have this natural drive 
to write music. Yeah. I cannot turn it off. Mm. So, like, if there's ever any quiet in my house yeah. doing dishes and I don't have a podcast in, yeah. I am singing. Wow. And I am working on something. And some days it's there so much that I have to be singing voice memos in my phone yeah. all day because I don't have time to sit down with my guitar and write something. Right. But it's a process for sure. I yeah. can't let this idea go. And um, gosh, and then some days it's not there and it's quieter. But yeah. I would say overall with my fiction writing, yeah. and with, which is, I'm unpublished, you can't find it anywhere. <laughs> don't search. One day, yes. one yes, day. Soon. Don't search for that. <laughs> but um, I would say like with my songwriting and my fiction writing, yeah. there's always this output. And yeah. it makes me feel better wow. as a human to always be doing that. Wow. And the idea that I can bring my ideas to the group and yeah. listen to their ideas ideas and Absolutely. write songs collaboratively yeah. is so much better because we can rely on each other. So I know that like if I have song ideas, I'm motivated to keep going because I have places for it to go. To go. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. We're oh, so excited to have you. Thank you for yeah, having me. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So where can people find your music or watch you perform? So people can find my music if you go to www debrasolo.com. You're going to have all the links to any kind of social media that we have. Yeah, absolutely. And if you follow us or like us, I would be so grateful. Yes. Every single social media click helps absolutely. artists become more seen. And so yep. you can find everything from the website. Awesome. And I hope that you will uh, find our music on Spotify. It's SoundCloud, yeah. YouTube. It's all on here. Awesome. And I was gonna say, if any of my friends are watching, I hope yeah. that you guys will follow Chase Definitely. and Malia. They're yes. local, so yes. follow them, and um, and that helps them too. Absolutely. Yeah. So we will be sure to leave all of Deborah's links in the description box below. Please be sure to go and give her some love over on all the platforms that she is on. And we're just so excited for your new album, and cannot wait for August thirteenth. Thank you so much. Yes, Me too. Definitely. So be sure to check her and her trio out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We are Chase and Malia and Deborah, and we will see you guys next time.